What's going on, everybody? It's Mike Wise from Attract Nation. Have you ever had those moments where you were scared, worried, or even panicked about things that were happening in your life that you never thought would get better? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how to deal with those issues in this episode. Stay tuned. So I'm talking about those situations. If you're a human being, you've definitely been in those type of situations. The situations where you panic, you run away, you might want to hide, you know, from life and you just want to sweep it under the carpet, but you know that it won't get any better by doing that. Um, I was making this video because that's what's recently happened in my life, but I've learned how to deal with those situations in an easy way. So I'm going to tell you that a little bit later. But what's going on with me is that my wife has been in the hospital and she has chronic pain. She has something called endometriosis or adeomyosis in her case, which wreak havoc on the female um, reproductive system. So it's just really, really taxing on her body. She's always in pain. She's always in bed. She's always taking painkillers or I'm doing the emotion code on her every single day so you know not only does she get stressed out I get stressed out as well and I know there's a lot of people out there that can relate to what I'm saying so the way that I like to stay calm in stressful situations is that when a stressful situation happens when it actually occurs or something that makes you feel panic just remember that these emotions coming from your body are learned emotions. We are taught in our lifetime that we should panic when something goes wrong, or we should get stressed out when something isn't going our way, or we don't feel like we can control it. That's just part of everyday life. It happens. But the way that I deal with it is that I like to stay calm, and I do it with my brain. You have to start with your brain okay and that's that's where the epicenter of where all your stress your panic anxieties that's where it all comes from you know when you do it with the emotion code um, which is the energy healing technique that i showed in the previous video it does wonders you can remove these symptoms you can remove these emotions with no problem but if you don't have an emotion code practitioner like me or you don't have somebody that can energy heal you, the way I recommend you doing it is start looking at it as if it's a sphere, okay? If the problem's a sphere. And what I want you to do is take yourself out of that situation, take yourself out of that sphere, and I want you to look down in on the situation. And you wanna ask yourself three things. You wanna start by saying, is it really that bad? Is it something that's going to hurt me? Or is it something that's just going to pass? And if it's not the first two, and it's that third one, which usually 99.9% .9 of the time is that third one, you can look in on it and see a different perspective of how you can deal with it. So let me give you an example. So your wife, your loved one, uh, your husband, anybody, they get hurt and they might have broken their leg, they fell down, they fell down steps, what, what have you, whatever happens. So the first thing in your brain, there's an alert system in your brain that says, oh my God, I need to panic. You go into panic mode, you start calling around, you start calling their cell phone, they don't answer, that gives you more heightened panic, and it just goes from there. So if you take those tips that I showed you, and when you have that information, and you look at it, from the top, from being in a sphere, you can actually see what's going on and ask yourself those three questions. And by asking yourself those three questions, you're taking your brain into another direction of actual panic to being calm. And this is the difference between being subconsciously panicked and subconsciously calm or consciously calm. So here's where the law of attraction comes into play. And the law of attraction is a big one here too. So whenever you feel that panic and you feel that stress or you feel that anxiety, 
uh, you know that they're negative emotions. You know they're coming from a bad place. You know that whatever you're thinking, you put out into the universe and it's come back. You have anxiety about it. You have panic. You're depressed about it. You're upset about it. That'll come back tenfold and you'll keep on getting that. See, if you switch your emotions around and you actually consciously, and it's not going to be easy, but if you consciously start switching your emotions into, I know it's not going to be that bad. I know everything's going to be okay. And I know that everything is going to work out in the end. And once you do that, you've actually flip-flop your mind's thought and you actually said what you really want. See, that's a little rhyme I like to do. So whenever you're feeling negative emotions or negative thoughts, you can flip-flop your mind's thought and think about what you really want. So whenever you do that, you're taking that negative emotion and you're turning it into a positive. And when you turn it into a positive, you're putting it out into the universe and it's coming back to you. And you know it's going to come back to you positive, but it comes back to you tenfold. And you can also use affirmations. This, like, I'm in the process of attracting that everything will be okay. I'm in the process of attracting that I know there would be a good outcome. I know everything's going to be fine. I know everything with them or with the situation or with whatever you're going through is going to be okay. And when you start giving yourself positive feedback like that, you start feeling pretty good. You start believing yourself. And when you believe yourself, your brain waves will get in sync with the universe and in sync with, with actually what's going on. And it will send that right back to you. So that's the cool thing. So whenever you're feeling stress, anxiety, and all these crazy emotions of panic, flip-flop your mind thought and think about what you really want. And when you do this, I promise you that it will change your mindset so much. And it gives you just a little reminder to think about what you really want in that situation. And I know you're looking at me like, Mike, this is easier said than done. And it is. It is easier said than done. What you need to do is you need to practice on it. Whenever this happens, hopefully things aren't happening in your life where this is happening all the time, where you have to practice it. But when it happens, just be mindful of it. Bring it out. Be mindful of it. Look at it at a different perspective. Ask yourself those three questions. And if it's not the first two, you're going to be fine. So I know this video is a little bit shorter. Um, I actually, unfortunately, have to get back to the hospital, but I think we're coming home today. I'm really hopeful. So if you could, send me some love and light and good positive energy. And on the next video, I promise to make an amazing video next Monday where you can learn. But this is something that I'm going through right now, and a lot of people are going through it every day. So I wanted to make sure that and my viewers can stay calm and we can start using the law of attraction and the power of our mind to control the situations that we think that we can. All right, guys, have a great, great day. I know it's Tuesday. I kind of dropped the ball, but please forgive me. Like I said, I'll make a badass video for you Monday. Be badass attractors and practice this. And I promise you, that things will seem a lot better on the other side. We'll see you next time.